It's come to my attention not all of y'all know that I have a cat named Tulip, so let me have her as my introduction this time. No singing bowl, but hey girl. Hello my beautiful Capricorn, how are you doing? My name is Simply Velka and today I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot horoscope reading. So if you find any tarot cards that resonate with you in this weekly tarot reading, Capricorn, let me know in the comments below which cards do and how they do because that is how I keep up with y'all super comments. As well, Capricorn, if you do enjoy this tarot reading or you just enjoy my vibes early, I'd really appreciate it if you were to give this video a like and subscribe, Capricorn, because it does help me out a lot. And always, I'm super appreciative of it whenever you guys take that extra step to support me in that way, Capricorn. But remember to rely on your intuition when it comes to this tarot reading, Capricorn. I believe my cards here are just here to give you some perspective because put it in perspective, honey. I'm just a man reading some tarot cards to you. I believe my cards are just here to give you some food for thought, that perspective to consider as you go throughout your day, um, but never making the choices in your life, uh, Capricorn, because it's your life to live, not mine, and not these tarot cards. So with all that being said, let's just get into your weekly tarot horoscope reading today, Capricorn. Capricorn. And we're going to start this out with an angel to see the overall theme this week or what it's going to be like for you, what it is that you can be anticipating this week um, for the energies, Capricorn. And you guys have the angel Fenwell. I'm going to be holding up the artwork because the artwork, I, when it comes to this Oracle deck, Virgo, um, the artwork is a heavy part in terms of receiving the messages of it. Um, so very purposeful in that. Uh, but this is the Angel of Truth. So this is letting you know right off the bat something being very much so moon energy. Uh, Virgo, Virgo, Capricorn. Plus also, don't mind me, Capricorn, in doing some tarot readings in 100 degree weather with no AC. So if you notice me being extra moisturized, darling, or me kind of uh, stumbling a little bit, it's just because of this heat, honey. But um, yeah, definitely I feel like something's going to be revealed to you this week. Um, something I am getting the sense of where I just heard very clearly someone's intuition is about to be confirmed. Um, wow, okay. So definitely something that you guys have been having a gut feeling about recently, uh, Capricorn, that hasn't been coming to light, but you just had a gut feeling about, definitely is going to be, um, truth is going to be revealed this week. So let's get into this a little bit more. We have stepping forward to you, the temperance card in the reverse. All right. We have the sun card here. And then we have the High Priestess card in the reverse. So this is very much so a textbook case of almost a Virgo. I don't want to say being gaslit, but it's like a Virgo. <laughs> Capricorn, I apologize. <laughs> As I just said, this heat, honey. But Capricorn, this is giving me a sense of someone who's been gaslit a little bit. Someone, or not maybe gaslit, but like... <sighs> Oops, as I hit my camera as well. Like, it feels as if, like, you've been doubting your intuition because it's, like, you kind of put your eggs in a basket with something because something internally was telling you. And then because it didn't pan out in the way it did, like, you felt like it should have, it kind of got to you and kind of, kind of started uh, giving you, instilling some doubt in you. I feel Capricorn and having you doubting yourself and just doubting your capabilities, right? And I almost am getting this sense of very much so um feeling feelings of being unrestful or feelings of restlessness that's the word i'm looking for two of cups in the reverse stepping forward in this situation as well so there's almost yeah it feels as if like capricorn there's a social situation or i don't want to just say social situation because cups can represent like job situations and stuff like that overall there's just like you don't have a good feeling about something right you don't have a good feeling about something you're just like something's been telling you something's been off about something and how many times can i say something and i really do feel like naturally with the sun something's going to be coming to light um something that you have been doubting yourself about heavily because you know you thought it was going to like come out sooner i guess right i don't know what that narrative is let me know what it's about capricorn um it's very much so randomly turning into like a juicy like gossipy reading which i haven't really had before so it's interesting dynamic uh for me capricorn to be digesting for this so um moving on from that uh capricorn let's see uh what it is that spirit wants to relate to you what advice that spirit has for you this week capricorn let's see what's going on 
uh, there. That seems to be what wants to relay for y'all. So starting this out, we have the Eight of Cups in the reverse. Let's see, why this Eight of Cups in the reverse, though? The Hierophant card coming in here. And then the Seven of Wands coming in here. And then, is this a situation? I want to know on uh, what this looks like for you, Capricorn. Four of Wands. All right. So, Capricorn, when it comes to... I feel like it's t uh, continuously going into this message of intuition. But it's like... Eight of Cups coming in the reverse where, you know, you have like a, let's just use stocks as an example, right? Because stocks is such an easy way to get across this message where it's like you had a really good feeling about a certain stock, right? And it's like you went all in on it, right? And then because like the stock probably, well, I don't want to say probably, but the stock plummeted, then you're kind of in this place of being like, well, do I even know what it is I'm talking about or what I'm feeling? Because it's like, I really thought the stock was going to go somewhere, right? And so naturally you get in your head and start questioning yourself, right? And then being like, oh, should I just move on from this? Should I just like, what is the situation? What is the tea, right? Four of Wands coming in here of where it's like, again, wait for something to be revealed to you this week, Capricorn. I really do feel like something's going to be, the truth is going to come out in whatever way that looks like for you. Um, that more so just reaffirms your intuition on something that you've been thinking about uh, Capricorn, and that's when everything, that's when the whole ball game changes, right? For you. So it's just like, really don't worry about, you know, easier said than done, right? Play the long game with this Capricorn because the truth is definitely going to come out, right? I keep on emphasizing the truth because of this card, the angel card, just but as well with the sun card coming in here. Um, when I was highlighting your two of cups in the reverse, really the sense paired with that high priestess card in the reverse as well. So it's like you were doubt starting to doubt yourself. Like something's coming to light that's going to just change up and shift your perspective and really, um, I feel like it's just going to be extremely affirming for you and something that I'm hearing. So now Capricorn, let's see what are the good things in the works for you this week. Let's see what good things are in the works, darling. Let's see here. So Nine of Wands stepping forward here, trying to come out for you. So definitely you're having a path. Ooh, the Tower card just fell out as well, honey. So this may, I mean, for my more chaotic Capricorns, they are. this is a situation of where you guys are going to feel pretty excited about what's coming towards you guys. Um, because it's kind of... Uh, a lot of destruction stepping in paired with um, a lot of character building at once. So for my Capricorns that have been just craving a lot of stability in their life, um, I don't know if you're going to, this. Uh, to just be honest, I don't know if you're going to get that stability necessarily this week, uh, Capricorn, but I can tell you this week it's going to be very character building for you. Uh, I can tell you that um especially with this tower card doesn't this kind of give like this ominous sense of where again i feel like some type it's connected to some type of truth being revealed and through this truth being revealed it just puts things in perspective brings things down allows you to get begin like the next phase of your life as the nine of wands right i love how this is kind of connecting not that i'm like i know it's going to be stressful for you guys capricorn i mean i have to be keep it real darling right but i see it as so good for you um, Ten of Wands stepping in here. So this is something that's been a very heavy situation for you. Something that is a lot of baggage that you've been carrying. And I do feel like it's attached to this uh, uh, tower card, honey. You have the Justice card in the reverse. This is what's been imbalanced for you. I really do feel like something that's going to be revealed. And I know, again, this sounds so like corny and ominous and what have you, Capricorn. But I promise you that's not normally my reading style. But I really do feel like something that has been just really out of balance in your life because um some type of sh i don't know if it's just like shadiness because like y'all know i'm just i'm not about like the dramas of it all but it does just feel like something needing to like be revealed <laughs> that has been long kept not in 
giving results or what have you. And that's what's been kind of keeping your life upside down almost. Ten of Swords in the reverse. Yeah, it's almost like you haven't been able to have closure with the situation because of this. And then, so once you have this tower experience, this tower moment, uh, Capricorn, that's when everything just starts shifting for you. Queen of Swords in the reverse. That's when you'll finally actually feel a lot more confident in yourself. You'll be able to... Um, yeah, I don't know. I just feel like you just have like a new sense of confidence and just sense of self-assuredness. So that's for the clarifiers for your tower card, uh, Capricorn. So now let's get a look into your nine of wands for you guys. So you have the ace of swords coming in here. So naturally when you have that tower moment, something just kind of being uprooted, right? Uh, with this ace of swords coming in here, this is where it's like paired with this new journey, it's new ideas, naturally, right? You kind of are having like a change of plans. I don't know what that moth is doing, honey. Um, then you have the seven of cups in the reverse with the page of swords. So definitely, there's not going to be like this sense of confusion or this sense of feeling lost, I feel, Capricorn, when it comes to your life and with all this destruction or, I don't want to say destruction, but this chaos, we'll put it as more. Uh, I don't know if that sounds any better, that does it. Um, <laughs> but I do feel as if like, as this is happening, you're going to feel like oddly, extremely calm, Capricorn. I feel like it's going to be something that you're going to feel pretty prepared for and kind of just will know where to like how to go from point A to point B to point C and continuously on from there. It's going to be that's why I don't feel like it's like it's str it's stressful just in the sense of a lot going on, but it's not like you're not getting like a three of swords, knock on wood, honey. Um, you're not getting anything that's signifying a lot of pain. It's just like a lot of micro, like a lot of moving parts, I guess, if that makes sense. The lover's card coming in here, though, really highlighting the sense on you're going into something like you're going into like more so just like longevity things that are going to be um, take going the mile with you, something that you'll feel a lot better with committing to is something that I'm just getting Capricorn. So yeah, very powerful messages for that right there. Um, I feel inclined to do one more before we close this out, actually. Page of Pentacles coming in here. So definitely two different pages stepping forward, both of them kind of implying like one of them keeping your eye on something, but also the other one talking about communication and extending your pentacle out and putting your neck out. And I do both because both pages represents new energies, well pages in general. Capricorn represents new energies. You know, be on the lookout for new people right entering your life or trying to enter your life something i just want to say so now uh capricorn let's take a look at your social situation this week and when i say social situation i mean it can be your romantic honey it can be your platonic relationships in your life it could be your work life it could be family honey you know your life more than i would honey so uh let's take a look capricorn you guys have the full moon in Gemini. The answers you need are coming when it comes to the social relationships in your life. I feel like it's going to be an extremely comforting card for my Capricorns, actually. I feel like this is part of, like, what is going to be revealed. How many times can I say revealed? But I feel like everything, like, weighs on this card. Like, surprisingly, uh, Capricorn, I feel like this has been, like, y'all's reading has been, like, the most heavily weighted off of this card in specific. I've been doing it for all the... Uh, zodiac sign starting uh recently i feel this is like y'all's like thing has never honed in on such a specific message on um truth coming out so yeah uh capricorn queen of cups coming forward to here so this is gonna feel really good to you two of pentacles chaos finally you know normally and this is when this is in the upright capricorn this is the card of like having too much on your plate um, dealing with a lot of chaos, a lot of moving, literally like the, a lot of moving parts. When it's inverted, this is being resolved. Part of the reason why probably you have the Queen of Cups coming forward to you in the upright because you're feeling good, because these answers that you are needing are coming. Because keep in mind, this is all in regards to your social situation. And then you have the Ten of Cups stepping forward to you naturally. So it's definitely going to bring forth a lot more securement, a lot more 
love into some type of situation, a lot more assurance I feel than it is that I feel like that's kind of been the key point that you've been lacking when it comes to some type of social situation in your life, Capricorn. You just have really been needing some type of assurance that you just have not really been receiving, King of Swords, right? And it's going to just, yeah, it feels like you're going to just get some extra affirmation and feeling like almost like solidifying your bond with something and then it's through this per, per, uh through this perspective through this truth coming out and just putting things in perspective for you it feels like you're going to be able to just like take a deep breath and be like once you figure out where it is that you stand with some type of social situation in your life capricorn once you are on the same page with everyone in your life it feels like it's going to be such a huge weight lifted off of your shoulders mental weight lifted off of you because it feels like you are currently spending a lot of mental brain power on that social situation for whatever it is for you uh capricorn so yeah now let's take a look at for you capricorns your financial and your career this week right let's tap into that and see what's going on there for y'all let's see so you have the fixed moon hold your vision capricorn definitely a very powerful card to have so this is coming in when it comes to my capricorns that have been having some doubt in terms of what it is that they're doing with their lives you know wondering if they're on the right path if that's been a question for them um you absolutely are hold your vision keep reminding yourself that you don't need to settle for anything less what it is that you're wanting to obtain it's completely realistic capricorn don't try to uh lower your goals or lower your standards just because it's a daunting task or a daunting goal to have you definitely hold your vision right let's get some clarifiers on this emperor card coming in here powerful 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 queen of pentacles come on powerful and then the page of cups powerful so definitely hold you hold your vision because something coming in here page of cups represents new opportunities being presented to you and i want to point out with the page of cups right here you see these astral hands really spirit hands coming in being part of this process right letting it's kind of like their gift the gift from the universe um something's going to be coming in here queen of pentacles and the emperor card similar in the sense of very much so self-assured energy um but also an energy of really like these two people i would really trust with running a business essentially i would trust them with running my finances the fool card stepping forward as well um yeah definitely <clears throat> i'm starting to lose my voice now uh capricorn i'm so sorry um for y'all's mess of a reading <laughs> uh, so what i'm essentially trying to say capricorn is that you know kind of staying the course of this because i really do feel like this page of cups coming in here is going to present a very powerful opportunity for your finances um for you to really step into your power and really welcoming in or bringing forth a lot more abundance in your life just stay the course right you're going to be having like a what is that called like a relief package uh, sent to you really soon essentially right when it comes to your career and finances so stay the course continue on the path that you're doing right don't get in your head too much and start changing directions because that's when you start getting lost darling so now capricorn let's close out your reading with a quote because if you're not new to my channel darling i love me a quote so uh, let's see what quote we can give you capricorn so that you can take this throughout the rest of your week okay this card says my faith has the power to turn trauma into healing conflict into growth and fear into love so all this is changing uh your mindset um i do really feel as if uh capricorn you're going to be getting a lot of closure this week and so when it comes with closure you're going to potentially be dealing with something a lot of just chaos and a lot of what would be perceived as potentially traumatic situations situations where you could potentially fe be feeling fearful for what's going to be coming for you in your future right and you could be having some conflict naturally in your life from whatever truth is being revealed coming into your life but you again i feel like the best thing you need to remind yourself of during all this chaos capricorn is that this is in your path towards 
um, your growth, your betterment, right? This is all part of the course. Don't internalize any of this. Five of swords in the reverse. Get out of your head about this. Truly, don't overthink anything this week. Nine of Cups coming forward because you're definitely getting a relief package sent to you. Hermit card in the reverse. So keep yourself out there. Keep yourself on the lookout, right? Six of Cups coming in here as an offer. Truly some like very powerful message in, in the sense of where it's like, you're going to be having some type of relief package sent to you. Capricorn, don't overthink things. Stay the course. You're going to be fine. Take a deep breath, Capricorn. I love you so much. And yeah, that is the reading that I have for you this week, Capricorn. Uh, thank you so much for allowing me to give you this tarot reading. If you did enjoy it, let me know in the comments below which cards resonated with you. Give this video a like and subscribe, Capricorn. I appreciate your patience with me giving this reading to you while I'm sweating like a racehorse in 100 degree weather, honey. Um, if you'd like to book a personal reading with me, my website is down below, simplyvelka.com. My social media is TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, all of it is just Simply Velka. And yeah, I hope I can connect with you sometime in the very near future, very near future, Capricorn. I love you so much. Bye.